Hello, this is a, a video for you showing you, uh, I noticed on your videos that when you're like moving around how you have like this weird ghosting after image, I think I might know what that problem is. Also, I think I know how you can have Sony Vegas rendered out at even 2560 by 1080 or 1920 by 810 or whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and open up Sony Vegas right now. You can see, at least for me by default, my project ends up opening as 1920 by 1080. We need to fix that right now. So let's go ahead and go to File, New. We want to change it so our width is 2560 by 1080 and 30 frames a second because that's what I recorded it at. Uh, the rest of these settings look fine. Let's go ahead and start all projects with these settings. Audio, that looks fine. And those things look fine. Okay. So now let's go ahead and go to import media. And let me import this recording I did in Minecraft. As you can see here, I'll play it. You'll hear a little bit of rain sounds. And then you'll see here where I start talking. Okay, this right here is a little recording. Yep, so you saw that worked. So let me go ahead and just, I'm just going to trim a little bit of this video just so it doesn't have such a long render time. So there we go. Now I should have. Yeah, there. I just have a little short little, you know, seven second video there because for some reason Sony Vegas renders really slowly, especially when I'm screen recording it. So I'm actually, let's just expand that out just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Okay, now, uh, you know, you can do all your editing like you normally do. You can, Like I said, it is showing the project as 2560 by 1080. So now you can just go ahead, once you get that all your editing all done, just like you normally do, you go, you know, you do your render as. Now here's another thing you gotta do, is uh, your render thing. I guess, I don't know what you end up using. I heard a lot of people use this main concept, AVC slash AAC MP4. So I went down here and just uh, customized one of the templates and made it, you know, I called it U2 2560 by 1080. So you want to choose your frame size as custom so you can do your 2560 by 1080. Make sure your frame rate is still 30 frames a second. This right here is, I think, the reason why you're having your ghosting because I think your project might be set to 29.9, you know, 29.97 and then when you're rendering it out, I think you might be rendering it out as 30 or maybe you're recording at like a different frame. You know, so with this, that way your project, you know, your source material is 30 frames a second. Your project is 30 frames a second and your render is 30 frames a second. So that way everything is similar. So, you know, got that set up. I'm just going to, for this render, I'm just going to go ahead and do a constant bit rate of 10,000. That seems good enough for me. Usually I do a variable to pass uh, for 2560 by 1080 usually an 8 megabit average 14 max seems to be about good if you're doing the 1920 by 810 you could probably do an average of 6 and like a max of like 12 or whatever or if you're doing 720p you could probably do an average of like 3 and a max of like 6 or something um, for some reason yeah, you know, I have to change mine to render as CPU only because when I do the GPU, it just airs out right away. Your audio, yeah, I probably do 192.44.1. So let's just go ahead and call this uh, render test. And I'm going to render that out and I'll be right back while this renders. Okay, I am back. My washing machine was running and it was in the spin cycles and 
Just the vibration of the washing machine was causing one of the cupboards in my bathroom to go boom, 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 really aggravating hearing that in the background i'm not sure if my microphone was picking that up because it was you know quiet enough that my microphone probably wasn't picking it up also i do have uh um audio clipping set up on obs so when i don't talk it pretty much goes completely down here i'll bring down obs so you can see what i'm talking about you can see right here, here's OBS, you can see my microphone talking here, and then when I stop, you'll see it go all the way down here to blank and not just have ambient noise. And then as soon as I start talking again, it starts recording again. So, let's go ahead and bring this back up. Looks like it is almost done with this render test. There we go, it is done. Let me go ahead and go to the folder that I recorded it at. Yep, and I see it right here. Let me go and bring it down. Yep, here was that original recording I did. And then here was that render test I just did. 10 seconds, 10 megabytes per second. Or 10, 10 megabytes. Let's go and try to play it. Yep, so I'm going to upload that video separately along with this video so you can take a look at it and hopefully this helps you. You know, of course, also, like I said, when you do your new thing, if you didn't want to do get the full 2560 by 1080, you could always change this, you know, to your 1920 by, you know, 810 or whatever. But, you know, and then you just go with that or even do your, you know, 1280 by 540 as well so you know but like i said if you're recording in the full 2560 by 1080 why not render it out at 2560 by 1080 also hopefully this thing about you know 30 frames a second project size helps you a lot usually i don't use sony vegas to render my videos usually i end up actually using after effects because i'm more uh used to this program it's loading it up right now. I'll bring it down here so you can see. Whoa! Let's go ahead and I'm just going to show you this. Just I'm going to import that same video that I did here, DX Tori, and this. That's fine. And then here's the video itself. Let's do that saying. Let's see how long was that render I did. That render was a 10 second video. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to jump to the 10 second mark and end this one and render the same thing out just to show you how much faster After Effects is rendering the same thing. So go ahead and go back up to that root folder and call this After Render. You can see when I <clears throat> when I drag it into a new composition, it already made the thing a 2560 by 1080 30 frames a second composition. Only bad thing though about After Effects, as you can see here with audio, uh, it's only the game sounds. It doesn't have my voice, so I actually have to, you know, go into that folder and have DXTOR extract, you know, the audio streams out of here so I get both, you know, the game audio and the microphone. So then I can drop that in there into my project and just drop them down here. And then now I have the game audio and my microphone audio separately. So let's go ahead and, like I said, render that out. I'm using my YouTube preset, which is H.264. Uh, let's make that 8 megabits per second. Actually, let's make it 10 like I had for the other one. You know, 44.1, 192 audio, exactly the same. So I'm just going to keep the render window open here just so you can see it rendering and watch how much faster this one renders. Bam! See? And that was so much faster than Sony Vegas. So that's why you don't use Sony Vegas. I don't know, it might be faster if you can somehow get GPU acceleration to work, but 
this uh, works good for me. I'm going to go ahead and let's go back to that streaming thing. So here we go. Here is that render test from Sony Vegas. And megabytes and then the where did it render that out at after render where did I render that out at after oh there it is after render drop this back into DX Tori there you go. So the actual render ended up being about 13 megabytes. The other one ended up being about 10 megabytes. Go ahead and open up the bitrate viewer. So the render test and the after render. Average eight. Average, oh, that's probably why. Because I, mu I must have had this average as eight. Yeah, I did. I did have it set to average eight. So what's, but yeah, you can see there. That's yeah, whatever. You saw how I did that. I could have just chose probably VBR and did the same thing with the eight to twelve or whatever. So this video is gone about ten minutes now. So um, I guess after you watch this, and you, if you have any more uh, questions, just go ahead and send me a reply. So yep, thanks for watching. Bye. I rendered these out and sent you a link to all these.